Yes. I am back in Gordon, Georgia. They say I am many things. In fact, they say I'm many ugly things. But to you who know me, you know what I'm all about. And I'm gonna give you a little bit more of what I'm all about. So listen, please. The Wilkinson County Post covered the last city council meeting here in Gordon. I wasn't at this meeting because I was in Meg's. They wanted me over there to cover what was going on there. And I did that Monday of last week. And you already know about that because it's listed on this YouTube channel. But as I was given a copy of the Wilkinson County Post, volume 14, April 24th, front page coverage reads, Gordon Mayor accomplishes little during council meetings. The story is done by Judy Bailey. And it talks about Monday night's meeting without much drama, but without much action as well. Anybody that's been coming to these meetings since Mayor Merritt and Whippaloo became mayor, there has been friction at these meetings. Police have had to keep the order, in some case even they fail to keep order in this public meeting in the state of Georgia. The last meeting that I covered, and you can see that on this channel, was terminated by the mayor at first. Then a reluctant attorney finally gave her some advice and she continued with the meeting and actually took a motion from the council in a second and she closed the meeting or what could have very well been violence at the meeting. I thought that was a wise decision. But I also looked around and I couldn't understand why a mayor pro tem would be against the mayor when he, Edith, is the mayor pro tem. I couldn't understand that. In my most humble opinion, I'm, I've been to many council meetings the police have always kept the peace at public meetings and county commissioners meetings in particular. Most cases, the chairman or the mayor don't have to say anything. The chief of police knows what it's like to maintain order in order to carry on the affairs of the people that they serve. Have I finished yet? I have seen this very same thing happen in Meigs, Georgia. And it's amazing. It seemed as if though, after blacks became the mayor of cities in Georgia, that they lost the traditional respect for elected mayor, wherein for years blacks never did this to white mayors not even during segregation when we couldn't even use the water fountains and we couldn't use public facilities on the highways. And yet, we have had mayors stripped of their powers, locked out of their offices, not given offices after being elected to the office, can't get audits, on 
how taxpayers' dollars were spent before they came into office to set the record straight so they would start with a new slate so nobody could say that they were taking money like maybe previous administration may have taken money or misappropriated money or created secret banking accounts that nobody know about. And so it just made good sense to have an audit or somebody to balance the books, especially like in Meg's, I'm told, when people have been caught misusing, misappropriating taxpayers' money. We hear people talk about we want smaller government. People talking about the federal government intr intruding upon our rights. But in the early days of this nation, if black Americans did not have the federal government to protect them from these states' rights that was oppressing them, although they fought to secure the rights for everybody, it was the federal government that came in and made it possible for women to get the right to vote. Hell, even white women. Have you all forgotten that? So why not? Everybody talking about they hate the government. Well, my civics lesson tells me that the government is the people. So are you telling me that you no longer want the people to have a voice in their government? We had better think today, y'all. Our sons and daughters who put that uniform on and put their life on the line to go fight these wars, we had better wake up to the realities of now. After 498 years for Americans to still be struggling for the right to vote, the right to have their votes counted, we had better wake up. It's not a, all this is not about Mayor Ann Whippaloo. This is about Mayor Charles C. Brown the third in Quitman, Georgia. This is about Mary Ann, or rather Linda Harris in Meg's, Georgia. This is about the mayor in Davis Burroughs, Georgia. This is about Mayor George Ivy. This is about Mayor Chris Wright in Douglas, Georgia. This is about all of these mayors and about five others that, I, that have called me in the state of Georgia. Yet the governor of the state of Georgia don't see a problem. Apparently the Secretary of State and the Attorney General don't see a problem. But the people see a major problem. They see a major problem. And they know that the God of our ancestors sooner or later will deal with this. And we must be ready not to let mayors like Mayor Ann Whippaloo go down this road alone Representative Tyrone Brooks